who are in awakening station, it is not acceptable because you're opening the doors to shaitan. You have good intentions, you worship, you do have knowledge, but you're opening the doors to shaitan. Do you know that you're being heedless? You don't know, that's even worse. Those who don't know that they're ignorant, they're ignorant of their own ignorance, those are very dangerous ones. Because you can be used. And you don't think you're doing anything wrong. Beware the vision of a believer because he looks with the nur of Allah. What is the Awliya Allah, they are awake. We, you and me, we're just trying to follow them. We cannot be sleeping. We cannot sleep. You walk, say, from the maqam here. Hmm? That inshallah Rahman, we're going to build. We have permission to build other maqams here and over there. You walk from the Makam in the weather like this, slippery, correct? Snowy, there's ice everywhere. Can you walk like it is summertime? Why not? Oh, you know how to be a little bit awake. You know how to do that. Why? Because you will fall. Because you understand that it is dangerous. It's only like maybe two minutes walk from the Makam to here. You're in Daga, nothing's going to happen to you. You're not going to fall down and break your head. But still, I'm seeing everyone, they're being very careful. When a person is not understanding that we're living in very dangerous situations, dangerous times, that he's not aware that there is a danger that is surrounding him and a danger that is inside of him, that time he becomes completely heedless. He's just going to walk any way that he wants. He falls down and he hurts himself. Then he says, oh, why is this happening to me? Can you blame anyone? So you have to be awake. If you are with people who are awake, and they're going to say, wake up. Zikr is to make you awake, not to make you to go to sleep. When you remember, you become more awake. You remember, you become more awake. You think of Allah, you become more awake. You don't enter into illusion and delusion world. You understand the ego. You understand the shaitan inside of you and around you. Now it's dangerous, you're going to walk carefully. You cannot be childish anymore and thinking, well, somebody is going to hold me up. No. You're going to be childish, then your level is of faith is very low. Your level of faith is maybe the faith of those ones who are crazy. The level of faith will be the faith of those ones who have no responsibility. You are not going to go to Jahannam, maybe. But you are not going to go to the highest places in paradise either. You are not going to be with the ones that you love. If you are separated from the ones that you love, even Jannah becomes Jahannam. If you are together with the one that you love, Jahannam becomes Jannah. So what is this heatfulness or what is this heatlessness for? What is this for? This is the reason. Inshallah, follow your shaykh. Well, follow. Oh, once they're going to knock you wall to wall anyway. They're not going to say, oh, your majesty, mashallah, what a saint you are. They're going to knock you wall to wall and they say, be careful, walk carefully, walk carefully. Don't you know? Don't you know? Wake up, think. Until the time when you, are, you can do that, you're walking carefully, then he's going to say, why? Why am I telling you to do this? Because there are others coming behind you. I cannot reach to everyone. You are going to represent me. There are others behind you, and they need to walk in that dangerous ground. And you are responsible for them, and you have to teach them. Chain, linking from us to them, to our Sheikh. Not breaking, you understand? 
So, look, if you have Tafakur, you understand. Not only to sit down and to realize where you've gone wrong, but when you are doing something wrong, to understand what it is and to take the right steps. Not when you're doing something wrong. When you see the wrong road that you're going to take from one mile away, you're going to know it is wrong. When you know the shaitan and the ego and the desire is coming from one mile away, that's the time you're going to put the barricades, the sohbat, the ammunition against the shaitan. Not when it's just hitting you right away. In reality, every accident on the road, for the most part, it can be avoided, no? If people just what? Become more awake and they become more aware. And for us believers, it is not just enough for us to be really sharp with our eyes, with our hearing, with our speech. It's not enough. Our heart now needs to work. Even if there are no signs, like what we were speaking about yesterday, even if there are no signs, our heart should pick up. To no, 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 no. We shouldn't. This is not just to all tariqat people or Muslim people. This is for everyone. Everyone has <coughs> that instinct. Everyone has that heart. Everyone has that conscience. Everyone has a connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now it depends whether this secret that you have, you're going to put water, or you're going to put things, fertilizer for it to grow, or the secret that you have from a very young age, you're just going to cut it down. Every time it grows, you cut it down. It's still there. One, it is growing, it's overtaking you. You will become a person who is going to be representing the Prophet ﷺ to bring mercy. Or you're going to be the one who has just finished this connection and you become the most uh, selfish. You become the most disobedient one, only living for yourself and for your ego. You understand? Jamaat, it is very important. You cannot do this alone. You cannot just read books on this and say, yes, yes, that makes sense. Mm, very good, mashallah. So many people say, oh, I want to read this, I want to read that. And you say, go ahead and read. But why are you reading? Why are you reading? You think we're reading so much about your disease, you're going to be able to cure it? Reading so much about the cure, you think you're going to cure it? What do you need? Huh? A doctor. You read so much about your disease, you read so much about your cure. It still will lead you nowhere. If you try to become your own doctor, you kill yourself. Amen. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha.